What's up you guys, Martin here and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a vlog. Okay, we're not going to be unboxing anything. We're just vlogging. Um, and right now, I'm trying to cook an impossible burger. Plant-based food. Um, I heard they're good. I think me and Charles actually had a uh, impossible burger um, at Burger King. I think. But, um, yeah, I wanted to try it. So, um, today we're trying vegan stuff. Uh, and it's gonna be fun. I also have these wings that are cauliflower, but they're wings. So we're gonna try that to see how they are. But, um, Impossible Burger. Let's see if it's good. So that's what it looks like. Um, it looks like a burger. Alright, so the hamburger is basically done. You're gonna add a little bit of, you're gonna add a little bit of water in the pan. Put some cheese on it and let it steam really quick. We got some french fries out of the air fryer. Oh yeah. And voila, there it is the there it is. Okay. Whoa. Get that cheeseburger. So it's kind of veg vegan, kind of not. I don't know. I still use cheese, but it is what it is. I'm also getting my hair cut today um, in a couple of hours. You know, my hair just grows so long, like so fast, and it gets all puffy on the sides. I don't like it, but it is what it is. So today, haircut, trying out different foods, having a vlog. So we are gonna try the hamburger. This is the Beyond Patty, okay? Let's see what it looks like again, in case you guys wanna try it. Um, the Beyond, Impossible, not Beyond, Impossible Burger. It was $8 for that. So we're gonna try this. It's a basic hamburger. I don't have any lettuce or anything, so it's just cheese. Yeah, ready? Uh, impossible plant-based burger. This is its taste. That tastes good. That's the only hamburger I'm gonna have now. I'm going back to vegan. Let's do it. One hour later. Alrighty guys, I am back with a new haircut. Thank you, I know it looks great. Um, also, we got some wing stop. I have been craving wing stop, I had to get it. Also, I'll show you what it looks like, but I didn't mention, there's a new saltwater tank in this household, okay? And we got new fishies, new fishy friends. So once it's all good, I'll show you guys that. But I'm hungry. I need to eat some wing stop. Cajun lemon pepper, here I come. So now that we're sitting down, let's talk about Mona. For those of you who are new to the channel who do not know who Mona is, um, that is my mom. She used to be on the channel a lot back in the day. Let's just say uh, we did challenges, we went hiking, we did a lot of stuff. But she didn't want to be on camera no more. And you can't force someone to be on camera if they don't want to be on camera. Uh, I wish she was more camera friendly, I guess. Um, it would have made more content, way better content. A lot of you guys love my mom, so, you know, I wish I could show you guys more of her. But, Mona, the other day. I, can't, I have to drink while I'm, I'm uh, filming this right now, okay? While I'm talking to you, we gotta drink. And tonight we are drinking a Buzz Ball. Not sponsored, but Buzzball, if you want to sponsor and you want me to be drinking your drinks, hit me up. So, as I'm going about my business yesterday, I get a phone call. I do not have Apple anymore. I switched from Apple to Android. I really liked the Fold, the Z3 Fold, and that's what got me to switch. But uh, I can't FaceTime, so it kind of sucks, right? I, I can Duo. You know, I can duo people, uh, but that's what I have to deal with. So my mom had to download duo. Uh, people that have iPhones have to download duo. Wendy's pretty happy because she has Android, so 
Uh, it's so funny. She's like, you always hated on my Android. You always hated on my phone, and now you got an Android. I'm like, the only reason why I got Android, boo, is because of the flip, boo, or the fold, boo. But, yeah. So, as I'm going about my business, I get the duo ring. And I, you could see sometimes, like, when they're waiting for you to answer. I don't know how that works. I don't know. Sometimes it does it. Sometimes it don't. But I see my mom, like, in pain. Like, she looked like she was crying. Sippy, sippy, and the bolly, bolly. Smells like crap. Ooh. That's strong. That's probably why they call it buzz ball. Ooh. So I answer the phone. My mom is literally crying on the floor. Mind you guys, a little reminder, she lives in Alaska. So I can't really do much for my mother in a situation like this because she's in Alaska and I'm over here. So um, I was like, what's wrong? She's like, I fell. Oh my God. And I'm like, you fell? How the heck did you fall? So her and Charles have a trash can, but one of the trash cans that have that little flippy door, that little flippy entrance, you know, like the top part comes off, but it has like a little flap, little plastic flap. She took the top off to throw out the garbage, right? So she took the, the, the top off, boom, takes it out, takes the bag out, but she replaces the bag, but she forgets to put the top on, the, to the lid on top of the trash can. So what happens, she forgets all in all. So she goes back to the room. She's like chilling, relaxing, you know, on her day. Um, and she's laying down, chilling, vibing, you know, with music or uh, whatever she does, you know, in Alaska. Her nails, okay. Her nail wraps. She is a seller for the Nail Street. I think it's called Nail Street. So if you guys are interested in nails, let me know. Let me know. I'll put her info in the bottom. And you guys can buy some awesome nails from Mona, okay. She has some nice, they're cool. They're like, uh, it has a design. Some have a design, some have a color. Some have a c design that you could put on colored fingernails and you wrap them on and then you file them and it looks like professionally done. So if you guys want some, let me know, okay? But yes, like I was saying, she was in the room. So she got hungry, you know? She wants some chicken in the air fryer, okay? She wants some fr air fried chicken. She opens the bedroom door to come out to the living room Tell me why she forgets that the 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 uh, the trash can lid is on the floor. She steps on it, which her foot goes in. The whole dining room area, the whole living room is all hardwood floor. She steps in it and she slides. Like she goes, whew, and she fell. And when she fell, she said her, she, I don't know how she explained this, but her knee bent, her ankle bent, and then her ankle went up and she said it looked like putty. Like her ankle went like this. And she slammed her arm on the ground. And that's, she was trying to like hold her fall. So she's bruised all over her arm. She's bruised on her legs, her knees. Mind you, she doesn't have great knees. She had torn meniscus on both knees. So it makes it even worse, right? She falls. She cannot get up. And this is when she thought of me. She's like, oh my God. I need to call my son. So her phone was, I think she said her phone was somewhere, so she had to crawl to grab the phone. She FaceTimes me, duos me, and I'm trying to talk her in, like tell her how to, what I would do if I was in the situation, just because I'm not there. Um, so she had to scoot from, I told her to scoot to the room to get on the bed. So she, it, she could not put no pressure on her ankle. She couldn't do anything. She's crying, she's in pain. I feel so bad for her. So she's scooting herself from the back, like on the floor and scooting herself back with one good arm and one decent leg. So she had to put the phone on the floor, scoot a little bit, grab the phone, move it more. We got to the bedroom. She couldn't get up on the bed. I thought she could probably like pull herself up or push herself up on the mattress. She couldn't. Mind you guys, Charles works like two hours away, okay, from their place. So... Of course, he's clearing snow. He's clearing snow. He's doing his job. Boom, 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 boom. And then I have to call him. I'm like, you need to get off work early. You need to go back to the house. Mom fell. She can't get up. She needs you. So he had to take 
So he did as fast as he could, but mind you guys, two hours away from the house and his truck is an hour away from his job. I don't know how that works. I don't know um, how that works in Alaska. I don't know how far things are. So he was on his way, but I was on the phone with her. She was on the floor for like two hours. She couldn't go to the bathroom. So at this point, she's like, I'm just gonna pull some blankets off the bed, lay on the ground, because she is that bad. You know, and I'm like, it's probably a sprain. It's probably a sprain. It's probably sippy sippy in the bolly bolly. Back to the story. We're talking. She calls me Charles's mother. Okay, Mama Charles. Um, had some crutches, so she went to the house, but my mom couldn't get to the living room. So she, my mom said she heard knocking, but she can't get in. So Charles was already like down the street at this point. She hangs up with me. They get her downstairs. Charles probably picks her up or does something. Um, they get downstairs. They go to the doctors. Charles is thinking it's a sprain. I thinking it's a sprain. Just the way she was kind of describing, right? Her foot went in the thing, slipped, blah, 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 right? She probably rolled her ankle at the most. No, you guys, the doctor comes out after doing the x-rays. She looks at my mom. Your ankle's broken. Your leg's broken. Your ankle, I think. Yeah. Your ankle's broken. Um, my mom's like, Charles is like, Mama Charles was like, I was like, my mom has never had a broken bone in her body her whole life. So, she has a broken leg, you guys. Broken ankle, she can't get on it. Mona's bedridden. Mona can't walk. Now she has to wait for another couple of days to get seen by the main pediatric doctor. I think that's what it's called. And now he has to, like she has like a, not it's a kind of a cast, but it's not. They put like a liquid, it's like a paper mache cast-ish thing on her ankle, but then the rest is like, um, uh, you'll see in the thumbnail if you looked at the thumbnail before you click this video, okay? So, let's just go back to the doctors there for the main guy, and they're probably gonna put her in a cast. And they said she cannot get off, she can't put no weight on that leg, she has to relax and rest if she doesn't want to get surgery. And my mom does not want to get surgery, okay? So, my mom is bedridden, you guys. Send Mona hugs, loves, prayers, okay? You gotta do it, you know? Go buy some nails, go buy some nail wraps. She sells them, I'm leaving the link in the description below. So after you watch this, go to her link, Mona's link. Go buy some fingernails, or like the uh, wraps. They're really cool. I don't know what they're called, I think they're Color Street or something like that, I just don't wanna, I don't know how to, exp uh, I don't know the words. But go down below, show Mona some love, go buy some nails, okay? Maybe that'll make her feel better boxing up nails and stuff and, and putting orders in her. So, um, yeah, you guys, Mona broke her leg, broke her ankle. And I wasn't there because I'm over here and she's in Alaska. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. Whew. So today, busy day, you guys. Today, um, got my hair cut. <laughs> Ooh, and then um, went to a town, a couple, a town over. Went to Petco, got some new saltwater fish. They're awesome. You can see the tank right there. I'll show you how they look in a in, in a minute. I'm really proud of myself. Saltwater tanks are very like hard to take care of, but the fish in here are doing great. We have a clownfish. We have three clownfishes today. We got a black and white clownfish. Okay. But we have two regular Nemo and Marlin um, from Nemo, Finding Nemo Clownfish. Uh, we have a slug, uh, two slugs actually, a starfish, a real starfish, um, two peppermint shrimps, a crab, an emerald crab, a uh, gobby, an anemone, an anemone, an and, a, and a coral, and a cardinal pajama fish. But yeah, so we got that. Um, I got a really cool thing. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video soon. And it's really, really cool. Okay. 
But yeah, my day was very sh Well, hell, well, I missed it. It's long time, no tuggy tuggy. That's what I was kind of wondering. Could I be a guest star, but a secret guest star? Keep the hype up, get the people going? You know what I mean, like we used to do back in the day? When we did challenges and all that good stuff? I think it'd be good. Oh yeah, I think it'd be real good. I mean, keep the anticipation and all them people that misses me. I think it'll be good. Piece of fish grease. I just hope she gets better soon. She needs to get rest. She is very antsy. She's an antsy person. So her sitting down, laying on my bed like that, ooh, it's not gonna do good for her. She's gonna go crazy. But yeah, so um, let's show you how this uh, saltwater fish tank looks. Uh, it's a little dirty. I say dirty, but it's just algae. So with the new additions to the tank t uh, today, it's gonna be cleaner. And then the new uh, hair slug, it eats the, the algae hair. There's different kinds of algae that grow in there. But I've done the water tests. I test the water every week with the strips. I have this little thermometer thing or this weird crazy contraption. You put a drop of water on this thing, you close it, you look into the little telescope and it tells you um, what the water levels are. And it's cool and it works. So everything is really legit up to par and the fish are happy. So I'll take you to go see them, okay? I didn't mention that before. It was just kind of a hobby I wanted to get into and it just happened. I didn't think about it. It just kind of said, I'm gonna get some saltwater fish. Okay. But, um, should I just finish this right now with you guys? I'm gonna finish this. Sippy sippy in the buzzy ballsy ballsy ballsy. Cheers. This says Zet's taste. I should have done it in the beginning, but I didn't, sorry. That was nasty. But also, we're gonna go try some. You know how I did the, the vegan sandwich today, the hamburger? That was bomb. Impossible burgers are where it's at. It's fire, it's bussin', it's any other term these TikTokers use, but it's bussin'. Um, but bird's eye, though you know the vegetables, the steamed vegetables, they have a cauliflower chicken wing or cauliflower wing barbecue barbecue and garlic parmesan i'm gonna test out the garlic prom um i might test out both but we'll see so i'm gonna show you the fish tank and then we're gonna go cook some brock uh, cauliflower wings so i shouldn't be turning on the tank right now because it's supposed to be night time for them but here we go. So this is the cardinal pajama fish. Then we have two Nemos. They are so adorable. Yeah, babies. That's Papa. That's Papa. Uh, we have a coral. We have two peppermint shrimps right there. Thank goodness for this awesome camera. That gives me a lot of problems all the time. Uh, we have an anemone, 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 okay, and then there's a uh, leatherback anemone, okay, so let's go, oh, look how cool this slug is, this is our new addition, it has little teal blue spots on him, he is so cute, so that's our slug, he eats all this hair algae, here's the other new addition, the little black baby, I love him, he's a different species from the clownfish, here is a legit starfish. Let's see if you can see his tentacles move. Oh yeah, you can see them moving. Crazy. And then here is a new clown gobby. He's crazy, he sleeps like that. And he swims around. He actually suctions to the cup, or to the glass. Isn't that cool? We do have a crab somewhere in here. I don't know where the crab is at the moment. But here's the other uh, slug. It's called a cucumber sea slug or something like that. What are you guys doing? Look at you babies. So, and 
Look how cool the slug is, you guys. How cool is that? So yeah, saltwater tank, saltwater babies. Oh, and then there's another anemone. It's called a carpet. It looked like a little ball, and then it rolled all the way to here, and then it flattened out, and it went inside the rock. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, there you have it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good night, fish. All right, we are in the kitchen, and today we are trying one of these. I decided on one because I don't want to waste it, right? But let me tell you, Bird's Eye came out with new cauliflower wings. They have a barbecue. I mean, if I'm trying like vegan stuff and vegetarian stuff, I might as well try everything. Well, not everything, but you know what I'm talking about. The, Be the Impossible Burgers were amazing, okay? Impossible, amazing. So we have that going for us. So this is the barbecue. And the one that we are trying tonight, because I'm craving it, are the garlic parmesan wings. Look how good that looks. They're cauliflower wings. So we're gonna try these, I'm really stoked for it. It comes in a separate pouch for the seasoning, but I'm gonna walk you guys through this. We are gonna taste it, I'm gonna tell you if it's good. If it's not good, let's do it right now. I just opened it, this is what it looks like. I'm pretty stoked about this. This is the garlic parmesan packet. Let me get some spray. I don't know if you need some pan spray. I'm just gonna do it. You never know, you know? You never know if you need that. And then we're gonna toss these bad boys in. All right. Look at that. Look at these big old chicken wings. Cauliflower wings. Okay. Look at these. So we are preheating the oven to 450. You're gonna leave them in for 18 to 20 minutes. You're gonna then put the sauce pack in, serve immediately. Well, let's try this. Not sponsored. I've been watching Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is the show to watch. And the main dude, the main bad guy, well, he's not bad. I can never remember his name, but the one that was in the movies with the main karate kid, but his rival, the blonde haired one. This is all he drinks on the show. Banquet. Not sponsored. But you can sponsor me if you want. But Coors Banquet. And I haven't had these in a long time. But I had to buy one. So I've been watching this show and I was like, you know what? I need to take a sippy sippy in the bottle bottle. Coors Banquet. This is his taste. This is taking so long. This is taking so long. She is so cute. She is so cute. In the mind of my heart. This is Jinxie's back fat. Jinxie baby girl. Mwah. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Oh, shoot. 20 minutes right. All right, with my Halloween oven mitts, of course. I should be a puppeteer. Hi, I'm Jack o Lantern. Let's open. All right, here they are. They smell like meat. First of all, that's kind of throwing me off. I don't know why they smell like meat. But we're gonna put this in there, and then put the mix in there. Let's do it. All right, so the the. Cauliflower wings are in there. I put this on the stove so it can kind of thaw out. And I'm gonna add this to that. I'm gonna toss this up a bit. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so we let this cool down for a bit. We are going to try this. This is the Bird's Eye Cauliflower Wings Garlic Parmesan. I'm excited. There it is. It is still smoky, but we're testing this out. So, bird's eye garlic, 
cauliflower parmesan wings. This is its taste. Mmm. I mean, it tastes like cauliflower, first off. Um. Oh shit. I I'm I'm digging these. Um. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, if you want to have like a healthier version of chicken wings one night, like you don't have to go vegan. You don't have to go vegetarian. Just swap out some stuff. I already know that I'm swapping out the Impossible Burger with hamburgers. It tastes really good. It does the job healthier for you. But these are pretty dang good, okay? And I've only tried this. They didn't have the buffalo wing one. They do have a hot sauce one, and I was going to get that, but they didn't have it. They just had this one and the barbecue. But so far, garlic parmesan, heck yes. Mmm. That's where it's at. I love cauliflower. And just having this. I'm over here eating all this. Having the garlic parmesan with the cauliflower gives it a really freaking awesome seasoned taste. It's bomb. Let me try a bite of it. I mean, it basically is cauliflower breaded. But it's bomb. Mmm! Mm hmm. Alright, you guys, so today we tried the Impossible Burger. We had Wingstop. We got new fish for the saltwater aquarium. Mom broke her leg, her ankle. I tried Bird's Eye's new cauliflower wings. It's a day in of life for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed talking to you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I love every single one of you guys. That's going to be it for today. If you guys like this video, please like, please like, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends and family for more content. And until next time, you guys, don't be a lemon. Be a rosebud. Peace.